What's going on team? Welcome back along to Rugby Champions, which is on sale right now. Go check it out on Steam. You'll get yourself a tasty 35% off for this cracking little game. Today we continue on with the Highlanders and we are taking on the big boys from South African division. Not from South Africa, they are from Argentina of course, the Hug Juarez and they are coming to our house, which is nice for a change. We are at home, we're playing in the blue, Hug Juarez in the orange and we are underway looking to back up. That is a terrible start for us. Back up the uh, performance against the old Chiefs last episode. Oh, for pass, yes! Thought my player was offside. Goodness me, what a frantic start to the match already. And an injury as well. That is not good, because I hope it's not my player. Here we go, Aaron. Aaron Smith, a little scamper. We do have another injury. And get in there, boys, get in there, boys. We've hung on to the ball. Right. We were slow to run onto that one, but we were working it nicely out to the left hand side. Kinshoff, oh, bumbles his way out of one, finds the support of Lynch's. Lynch's, oh, Lynch's could have done a bit more there. Run onto the team, run onto the ball team. It's gone deep to Ioani, running, oh, running from behind, and oh, great little pass there to Fattis. Smith picks it up. Aaron Smith slips inside, and a great run there from Aaron Smith. Gets us right to the 22. This is a dream sort of opportunity for the start here. As we go, Sean, Karen Wright, numbers on his left. Can we get it over? We will. Yes, try time. Jackson Hamopo. Oh, we did it a little bit special there, didn't we? Had to work hard for that last pass for a man with the pace. But instead, we went for the power. And it is the big man, Hobopo, who gets us underway. It all started very well for us too, didn't it? The execution is we're going to the left side. Oh, Ioani's in a spot of bother there. He's got it nicely away to Tavita Lee. And we've worked very hard, I think, to hang on to this pill. We have. It's all Highlanders early on. And look at these advice columns that you guys have been giving me for this game have been working fantastically as Ben Smith running out of rooms oh no just had to pass and Naholo was gone now it is Cabelli Cabelli down the sideline it's going to be a reply to the Aguanes this is no he's been stopped I was about to say this is painful to watch but he has been stopped in his tracks Oh, the injured guy. Oh, what a step inside from Benicia. And the reply is scored. We will pause it here. Lomax. Tyra Lomax, first game back from injury. And what's happened? He's got injured. Well, brilliant. So we bring on the big boy, Aiden Johnston, back on to the tight head. And... Scoreline at 7 7. We go again. Boy, that would have been a great try. Ben Smith, of all the reliable players you'd normally put your house on, he's knocked it on. Here we go. Kitschoff. Get it. Yes, Kitschoff turns it over. Come on, boys. Run on to this. We've got to make up for that. Howler just before running as Yuani. He's in behind him. He's got it away and a chance for Kieran Wright. We're going for the pick and go there. Is it Simon? And it's Simon! RG Simon uses the power and we are back in the lead. 12 7. Instant hit back to the Haguarez. A little ditty there from Josh Yuani. Makes the lead back out to seven. Boy, oh boy, we are on top of this game, I tell you what, team. It's quickly shifted to Kitschoff. And here is Aiden Johnson looking for Aaron Smith. I think we have lost that. Too slow to the breakdown on that occasion. What a great little short pass here to Matera. The man we want to be a Highlander. To boost up our rather average back row. We've talked about already. Is this a drop goal attempt? It is. Matthias Orlando puts it over. Mm, that makes things very interesting, actually. I'll be completely honest. That makes things very interesting. 
the lead is swiftly cut to four, and this is a points frenzy. Let's be honest, they are going both ways. This time the offload comes, and Vivas gives it to Dalgi. And Baltics to Dalgi. Stavak gets him up to the 22. Benicia, great little pass to Orlando. The drop goal scorer offloads to Matera. Highlanders on top of that, though. Short one to Karibi. I love the ball. Ooh, we almost, we almost upset the Jaguares Apple Cup there. I think they're going to kick. They do. Orlando is kicking down to Ben Smith. You know what? I'm going to play the safe game. We don't want to play down this part of the field. We've got to play clever rugby. Johnston has just been skinned. And Orlando, oh, he's got it back, but he's knocked it on. Yes, boys. Fire it out. Get it out there. Come on. Oh, we've lost that very quickly. Very, very quickly we lost that. Right, it's a scrum. And you know what happens from scrums? Aaron runs. And away he goes. Look who's on his left. Oh, Tavita. Where are you going, Tavita? Let's get another try. Let's put this one completely away. It's Rizal. Goes through. He's got Fannis. And then Fannis will score. Oh, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant from the Highlanders. One phase. One opportunity. And they strike where it hurts. Over the whitewash. Another five-pointer. Yuani to continue his lead at the top of the point scorers tally. He's done it. 21 10, the lead is 11, and that's not 10 leaders. I'm sorry. Get out of town. We've got another set piece with who else but Mr. Smith to run things from the back again. Why not? Get it out, Aaron. Beat your man, Aaron. He's done it again. He's just so good at this. Nicely away to Kieran Wright. Kieran Wright! He could go! Right! Oh, he skips out! Kieran Wright will score! Oh, brilliant! Utterly brilliant! Magical! Superb! I'm running out of words to describe that. Kieran Wright puts on a display of the highest level. Here is Yuani. Similar kick and a similar result. It's 21 10. And boy, oh boy, I tell you what, it's half time. I didn't even notice. I didn't even notice the game was that far through. Half time gone already. 28 10 is the score. The Highlanders are humming. They are singing the best tune you will hear all season long. Here's a chance. Lancers! Get on there, boys! Get on there! I love it. I just love it. Yuani pops it away to right. Kieran Wright. Another one, please. No. Unselfishly. Oh, what the hell? Unselfishly leaves it. We're a bit slow on that one. Here it is to Fettis. We are really slow on that one. Got a man down on the far side. This has got to be a try. It will be. Why sucking the hole? Those scores. We butchered that. Three times, yet we still got the try. And that is the difference between this Highlanders team and about three weeks ago. I tell you what, boys, we are cooking on gas. And it's not the cheap shit you get from the shop. No, we are cooking on the high quality stuff. I don't even know anymore, but it's brilliant to watch. When we make a mistake and still make up for it, that is what is worth watching, is that is a great break by Moroni. Also pick and go as well from Cavelli. And Aaron Smith was there looking for the turnover. Tell you what, we've got a bonus point, don't we? How good is this? Oh, I left a bit of a hole there, and Benicia goes straight through it! Oh, that's brilliant! Jacqueline Diaz, Benicia, slides straight through, and the high one is not done yet! We can't be too complacent here this game is far far from over we have learned the hard way hurricanes haven't we we have learned the hard way keep the pressure up boys keep the pressure up yes don't even kick that away i love this kickoff work it's just brilliant at the moment okay boys get running up it's it's been smooth Ben Smith now! Oh, he's knocked it on again! 
Unbelievable. Well, Ben Smith is having an absolute shocker, to be completely fair, but somehow we are still, well, in control. I don't know how. Great half break there from Buffelli. Another man who would look really good in the Highlanders jumper, I think we're offside. Turn over. Ooh, we were almost there first. They've got a kick here, don't they? The Hagwaters have to kick. No, they'll go to Orlando, and he's got the wheels too. He's cut us in half. Aaron Smith can't keep up. Where is our defense in the back? There it is. He needs to turn over to boot as well. Let's get that structure, boys. Let's get that structure back. Snyman. Pops it short, Hamope. Oh, Hamope. Oh. I need to delay those passes just that little bit more. Oh, cover that second wave. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yes, a turnover as well. Quick. Give it to the right. We've got a man out there. It is Yuani who is waiting. He's going to put a little grubber in as well, which isn't a bad little option from Yuani. Pressure now, swiftly, on Bautista Delgui. Fattis, I want Fattis, I want to rush them. Rush them and smash them. They go to that second wave and Fattis does the job and it's another turnover! Oh, I tell you what, the Highlanders are here! Snyman has knocked it on. He was beating defenders for fun, but he's made the mistake. And it has been knocked on. Numbers all around him. It would look silly if we do smash these high wide by 50, but the way we're going, we deserve to be. We are the better team by so much here. We are playing out of our skin, yet we have still ruined two or three tries. Yes, love the work out wide here. To be the lead, way off his wing, but still doing the hard work. Now they've got it to Marcos Klamer. Klamer, yes, we held off on that. Not too many boys, not too many. They are pinned down. In their own 22. Everyone's getting a piece of the action at the moment. They continue on to the short side. We'll hold off on that. I mean, I am happy as hell to wind this clock down. Because we have a lead that seems unattainable at the moment. Although if they double this score, they will only be one point behind. Big cutout pass there. And Aguare start to break two. And it is that man, Bautista Delgui, who slips straight through. He's too quick. The support was all around them as well. They do very good work at that, the Jaguares. Keeping that ball. That is a great sweep away from Matera. He's the man we've got to look for. I do want to have a look after this match, see how good he actually is. Whether he will boost our team up or whether we should look elsewhere. As always, huge thanks to your guys' suggestions too for looking at a guy like Matera. We are looking so good. Oh, that is an absolute destructive tackle there. They broke their way up towards halfway. And now it's a crossfield kick. That is not bad, but it's out on the full, actually. So a bit of a dodgy one in the end as we tick our way over at the 24th minute of this match. The Highlanders still in control here. 35 points to 17 as we try to flick the offload there. Just caught the tackle. Where are the Highlanders? Flat, very flat from Yuani. Very, very flat. Here's Kieran Ryan. We've already got one to his name so far. Ben Smith back inside looking for Waisaki. Waisaki skipping. Have we hung on to that? Are you serious? I don't know how we've hung on to that. Here is Yuani doing a bit of the skipping magic himself. Can't quite get away there. James Lynch's. Now we see it back to Matt Fattis on the right-hand side. Ben Smith's up in the line. And look at the straightening line here from Kieran Wright. Wright! That is a great run. I think we have another injured player. And we've lost the ball as well. Who else is injured? Don't tell me it's Ben. No, it looks like it's James Lynch's. Another back row injury. Insane. Absolutely madness. James Lynch's is injured. Let's bring on the similar. Dylan Hunt. Let's get back to the action team. We've got five minutes to go. Another change on. My God. We're, we're playing a lot better, but we are getting absolutely smashed by the injuries. Oh, that player denied with a hole will go. And through goes Fettis. Oh, it didn't go. I went to the wrong guy. I should have gone with the trigger pass, not the button pass. I had Kieran right on the outside, unmarked, if I went for the bigger trigger pass. But that is it. That is my fault. Sorry, Highlanders, again. 
But, I mean, we can afford to make these errors now. We are smashing these guys so much. That's what happens when you come play in the dome. The Forsyth Bar at the home of the Highlands. What the hell, Ben? What the hell, Ben? What is going on? That's a hang on. I'm sorry, I love Ben Smith. I love him. But um, he's playing atrociously. Does anyone bring anyone else on? Uh, no, I think our front, our second row is playing really well. I like, I want to bring Fakataba on. I think he's the future of the team as well. Let's go. Some changes for the Highlanders. Fakataba's on. Wood's on at fullback as well. And is looking to break their way into the 20s now. Fakataba chases that nicely. Oh, short ball. Very good work. It's trouble here though for Waisaki. Oh, another injury. Are you insane? I think that's Fakataba as well. I just brought him on. Well, that's great from the Haguares and the usual captain, Geronimo De La Fuente. Scampers through for a try. No, it's not actually Fakataba. It is Tavita Lee. Wow, we are getting insanely punished for winning this game. I guess I've got to bring Umanga Jensen on. He's the only one I've got left now. Far out. This is, this is crazy stuff. 20 seconds remain. Let's see if we can sneak another one with 35-24. Although a scoreline, I'm, I'm really happy that we're winning by. We have put our foot off the gas quite a considerable amount in the latter parts of this game. Great chase from Tumanga Allen, but the fact is, Lynch's was not the first man there. Of course, he's not even on the field at the moment. This could be a turnover though. Not quite. Josh Iwani again. Not the force and the presence and the breakdown that we probably wish he would be. Well, that's a great chase. Nui out, slides out, so the work of Homopo can action from the inside. The game is over, but a bonus point on offer for the Haguanas if they get another try. Probably will be their uh, bonus point try as well, so potentially two for them. Ooh, that was close for Steinman. Watch that short side. Johnston, they're not going to kick here. Oh, forced them into that. Oh, that is a great break though. Vigas. It's out of the 22. Sets it up. Great tackle there on Sodino. They're not going to kick, though. You just know there's no kicking in this team at all. As Cabelli slides on the outside. He's got the pace to get away from the close in defender. Kai knocks it on. Excellent work there. Oh, damn it. I thought we could play the advantage. We won't get the advantage. It will be game over. It was a five-point win for the Highlanders in terms of a bonus point as well. The Haguares will leave to need an empty-handed 35-24. What a round of super rugby. The Highlanders defend their home turf. The Haguares will go back to Argentina in the South African Conference with an L to their name. I think they're second of the season. I think they lost earlier in the year as well. But how good were we early on? We did falter later. I say my second half was, I'll be honest, atrocious. It was pretty blooming bad. But our first half, magical, magical, magical stuff. Okie dokie dokie, wokey smokey. Five tries to three, we pick up the BP. Haguarez do not. If they got their fourth try, there would have been two bonus points for the Argentinian franchise, which would have been magical for them as well. To come away with at least that would have been pretty good. They would have made it 35-31. In the end, uh, other stats of note, missed tackles, 14-14. That tells me this was an even game. They had possession, we had territory. We worked harder on defense with more tackles as of having less ball. But uh, defensively, both sides guilty of the errors. That was a really good game. A really, really, really close good game. And the Highlanders maybe have awoken this season. Let's have a look at the scorers. Everyone with one try. Jackson Homopo, Aji Snyman, Matt Battis, Kieran Wright, Waisaki, Naholo. Kieran Wright actually picked up man of the match, which is brilliant as well. He had a great game for the uh, Haguares. It is uh, Jacqueline Diaz, a body shirt with two tries. Very good performance there from the fly half. And it was, of course, uh, Geronimo De La Fuente with the other try. I'm trying to remember his first name there. Uh, Bonisha, three out of three conversions, and of course the drop goal when we were feeling sorry for them at the start. But I'll tell you what, great game by us there in the first half. 
We swamped them at home and we have come away with the cookies. A big, big win in our season as well as we are starting to really look up this season. There is more than one piece of good news to come out of round 13. The first piece, of course, we just stumped the Jaguares. And now we have more points as well. But the best part about round 13 is that bottom left-hand corner, Wellington Hurricanes, 14. Canterbury Crusaders, obviously, 14. The Canterbury Crusaders are not... 100% winners now. They have drawn with the Hurricanes. Okay, more on that in a second, but here we go. Points now. 27, 21, 21. Woohoo! Love that. But this, this looks, oh, not good at all. Results though. Rumbies over the Rebels, 12 0. Woo! Stormers have thrashed the uh, Blues, 34 7. Of course, we took out the Hagwares. We have to simulate the rest of the round. To see what else happens. He leads out for three games. I just saw that. Oh, dearie me. What, Campbell Wood? We make him a winger? I think we do. I really think we do. What else we got? Other results. Let's have a look. Um, oh, the Chiefs lost to the Sharks at home. Oh, that is massive. The Chiefs are going down the toilet. Push the flush button. They're done. Lions up over the Waratahs. Big way as well. And the Reds just snuck past the Sunwolves. Oh, I tell you what, boys and girls, let's get on to round 14 because the Highlanders are here to play. We are six wins, six losses. We've fought back to that 50-50 standing and we are absolutely fired up. What's happened in between rounds? We'll check our mail because there's a lot of this sort of stuff going on. So let's do that first. Um... What's going on here? We've, it's like we've read them all, but we haven't. Um, okay, injury. Uh, Lomax. Okay, Lomax has got injured again. Okay, he's out. Now, James Lynch is injured, but he's fully recovered. So he's okay for our next match. Tavita Lee. He's out. We've already seen that. Liam Coltman, though, is back. Uh, Ray Nui was pretty ineffective against uh, the Hagwaras. Top performance from our win against the Argentinian side. Kieran Wright, of course, man of the match. Josh Schwani, Matt Battis. I'd put RG Snyman. Jackson Homopo, really good in there as well. And Aiden Johnson does perform nicely off the bench too for us. Next match, we've got the Lions. So we're off to Africa now. Andres Kutsia, Alton Yankees, and Malcolm Marks obviously are their key guys. Let's have a look at our team now. We've got to make a few changes and adjustments. I want to have a look at... Um, Matera as well. Now, let's, let's sort this out. Let's sort out this team. Aiden Johnson there. Reserve prop. Uh, Yosefa Scott. So he's out. I don't know. Don't care. He's gone. Squire's still out. Goodness me, we've been just absolutely smashed. Now, Campbell Wood is a fullback. But I just want to put him on the wing. He is the best player for it. Next best would be like a Josh McKay who's 84 not as fast. No, sorry. Campbell, you're on the left wing, my friend. Campbell Wood comes in, and that will leave a player like Josh McKay to be our reserve outside back. Pakatava on the bench, as is Thomas Umanga Jensen. Now we've got a good squad here. We need to we need to get rid of some of this crap, like Nabura, rubbish. Um, Buckman, oh, he's a cult hero. We'll keep him until he retires. But now the guys like Theo Thompson, Ty Walden, are looking crap now. 80s aren't good enough for this level of competition. Uh, Fettis is 85, 83s we just get away with. But we look in this pack here and we see Franklin is 78, 81 for Lynch's, 80 for Hunt, 80 for Fazell. Not good enough. Really not good enough. Which is why, thanks to some of the ideas we had in the chat, the best one I liked was uh, Pablo Matera. Let's see how good he is and if we could possibly afford him. Flanker. Oh, he's 91. Yes, boys. 14 points as well. So we've got 21 recruitment points. It's going to have to come down to who we get youth-wise because obviously we want to get the best of the youth players first. Matera's 28 next year. That is a bit of a shame, but by far one of the better number sevens in this game. 91 rated. That's a great idea. I'm really, really keen to get him in. Um, what are the Brumbies guys? I'm sure Pocock will still be on here. But um, is he... Is he? No. 87. Not good enough. Anyway, I'm going to do a little bit of research around some of the best players 
in these teams. I really like the idea of Matera. Um, who have the Chiefs got? Like a, a Mitch Carpick or players like that. Sam Kane. It's only 85. Pablo Matera, you're my man. You really are my man. Canterbury's probably the only team that's actually got someone at that level. No, they don't. Billy Harmon, Ethan Blackadder, Mitchell Dunshay, Matt Todd, Jordan Tafua, Fitzgerald Douglas. No, 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 no. It's all on Matera. That's our go-to guy next season or for the off-season between these years. But we are looking very good this season. Now, big win over the Jaguares. Thank you, everyone, for your ideas and thoughts and comments in the last few videos. It's helped me massively. You can tell by the results, the way we're playing, massive difference as well. So a big shout out to you guys for giving me those hints and tips. I'll see you all next time where we face the Lions in Joburg. For that one, I'll see you very, very soon. Until then, thanks for watching and take care.